If you have a Mac, you might be wondering why your colors keep shifting when you export your footage. Today, I'm going to show you how to solve that problem while also showing you how to set up your color space to get the best looking colors with the video you have. Right now, I have footage that I color graded from a different video, so let's get started. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go up here, go to DaVinci Resolve, go to Preferences, then you're gonna scroll down to General. Now, once you have General Settings, what you're gonna to wanna to do, if you have a Mac, you choose Use Mac Display Color Profiles for Viewers. Now, basically, if I turn this off, I'll show you what happens. These colors get switched around a little bit. If you turn this on, you'll be able to see now the colors look a little bit different and this slight difference helps when you output colors. But that's not the only thing you have to do. When you go down to your preferences, what I've noticed is you have to put the output color space as Rec 709A. If you have it at the default Rec 709 scene, you'll see, again, your colors look a lot different than before. So you have to turn Rec 709A to get these colors. Now, why you wanna do this is like you've probably noticed, when you export, your exports don't look the same. So I'm going to teach you how you should export your videos and show you how you can tell whether you exported it right and whether your color space is wrong. So right now, I'm going to go to advanced settings. This is the last thing you have to check, but when you're outputting it, you want Rec 709 and then Rec 709A. Now, when you do this, this should be correct. So I'm going to export this as test. I'm going to put this in just my desktop for now. And I don't really have to edit any other settings. I can do higher quality if I wanted to, but we're just checking the colors and the gamma. Add it to render queue, render all. Now, as you can see, if I put my test footage on top of my original footage, you can see it looks the exact same. There's no gamma shift, and that's because before we even started color grading, we set up the color grade accurately so that there's no shift in the gamma or the color. You can also test this by opening up the footage in your QuickTime, then have a side-by-side -side comparison and you can see this is very accurate. When you play it, the colors are both accurate and there's no switched. Now that you know how to set up your color management system, you can watch this video here where I show you how to create this cinematic image.